<laughs> We're going to have to talk about that. What do you want to? Hello, and welcome to episode two of this podcast. It's still not got a name, and I feel like that's important, right? Like, I don't want to have a shitty name for a podcast. All right, just... I think the podcast should be called Prime Dash Al. He's Autistic Al. And I think Prime, Al, we're in the woods, it's no. very primitive. No. Look at our setup, it's like the most no, primitive. For one reason, because... One reason. There, there were always something about Liver King that were a bit off for me. It I don't like, know who that is. Oh, I don't think half these people know who that is. Liver King, everyone's talking. No, the end. He's been trending and shit, like, oh, even in news recently. Fuck him, whoever it is. Actually, fuck him. Sorry, in <laughs> news that they were talking fuck about. It, it, it could be getting sued like for what he's done what's he done well he goes on all these podcasts and stuff he talks about all the time like that he's like <laughs> that's what we're doing not that. on steroids <laughs> nah, we, the irony we talk about would that. be if you got sued for some shit you said on here that'd be the that's, irony no 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 I, I, I've, I've not got a product that i'm selling to millions of people right. with like a promise that i personally don't take like these supplements or whatever like he he so to to cover this story right he was like, he emailed this guy about like maybe some sort of fitness collaboration. Okay. And in this email to this other guy who's like, I don't know if he's a YouTuber uh, now, or like, I don't really know. I just saw this one guy's video that they were talking about on H3 podcast. Okay. And uh, li- literally Liver King is like on all these types of steroids. Um, obviously like in- injecting this shit with like, yeah, the, the gym dude, bro dude, he's like well, a bro. Yeah, so his main thing is like what you call ancestral living. So that's like where you just, you only live of things how like your ancestors did. You only eat like raw meat. Like he only eats stupid. like... That's the stupidest he, thing I've So ever he heard. eats like the bull testicles, just raw liver. Do you understand how evolution works? <laughs> um, Do you understand that people evolve, like the human species evolved to eat? more efficiently now well the reason i'm bringing all this is is crazy like I, the, the guy's delusional like to, to look like to have that physique it, it probably genuinely is possible but like how he's done it like he's cheated basically and that's the whole reason this is a massive controversy at the moment is because his whole brand is based on him saying it's primal and he even shouted in ethan's face on, on his podcast he shouts like in his face, like so primal, like that. It's just yeah, but I think it's a cultural thing. No, then. yeah, but that's just one guy saying primal because he's he's, no, he's trying to be I, all like alpha male. I genuinely think bullshit. I genuinely think it is one of them things where like you, you tell a lie so often you genuinely believe it. Oh, fair. Enough. Like what Hitler said. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And like people like Kanye West will just use that to like justify should, should get mass Kanye? genocide should get i don't know we're even doing an intro yeah we're just fucking no this is this, this is what a podcast is all right just talking nonsense just talking nonsense oh why you call it nonsensical i'll see nonsense no, it's nonsensical Cal. that that's i like that nonsensical nonsensic dash al yeah well something more like that but i was hoping Capital if you a. wanted your name could be in it too. i don't really want my name i think it's more your thing this I'm just co like supporting you. But but miles an hour podcast sounds good. Oh nah. it sounds about cars, doesn't it? Well that's what I mean. If Talking I was about cars. if I was marketing the word miles, yeah, but this is your thing, this is your well, show. I was hoping that it would be like our show. Yeah, no no, it is our show. I'm supporting you, but I can't you know, I can't hundred percent guarantee that I'll be here forever. <laughs> Supporting you, this might take off in your own direction. No, nah, I didn't mean 100%. Like, like I think as long as it's like a good amount, because what I want to try, I'll be rooting for you, obviously. And I'll be I want, here to, I want to try and get you like a sidekick. Yeah, sidekick. Yeah, I'm fine being a sidekick. Like, I don't want you don't call Batman Batman and Robin. Unless we, it's should, fucking we should get like a little soundboard. Like, oh, all, all shit. Podcasts you know, you can get sound a port, you can get like a portable ah, sound. Ah, 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 bar. Ah, ah. What's happening with you? He's getting injured enough. today. Today, when we were getting ready to come here, he put his, he, he rammed his foot in his Crocs. <laughs> his I crocs. sliced my finger off. And you got a fucking splinter in your Crocs, like a massive wooden splinter. I got metal on my finger. Um, no, I'm alright, but that, that we're good in that one. What have you done now? We'll just squirt metal and I've like run, run my finger. Feel, feel there. 
Feel that there? Aye, ah, you caught your finger a bit there, didn't you? Yeah. I, I rushed it across that. Maybe that's 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 fake telling you to stop drinking alcohol. That's uh yeah, it's the simulation. Simulation. So I would say fate. <laughs> See, when you say simulation, I say fate. So, what would you describe as fate? Because I don't think you really went into life. Well, when we were talking about simulation theory, you you would basically I kept asking the question like, who's creating it? Who's this and that? And you never give me a direct answer. You just kept saying like, it's just AI or robotic. It's just created itself almost. That's. I mean, that's not what I think. Yeah, yeah, but that's what it came across as. So I, I was under the impression that these are just fears. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, I, it's not like religion. We're designed. If we, if we have create, if we have simulation, I mean, someone's created us. Something has created us. You know, it's like the religion in it. It's like mm. they believe like, oh, God created us because this and that. Because they're trying to make sense of things that don't well, make sense. <laughs> I guess. I guess you are. And you're doing that, but on I a guess, different level. I guess you are talking about like God then in that so sense. So when I say fate. What I mean by fate is that like, like you said, you're like good luck, bad luck, karma, this and that. It's just kind of like the world telling you, no, you shouldn't be doing that. Yes, you should be doing that. But it's like, almost like an energy almost. You could say like, uh, you get to spiritualism, but like something's guiding you on a path. And when you almost like stray from it or whatever, something like tells you, like whips you almost, or smacks you on back at head and be like, hey, you pay attention, that's not the path you should go on. <laughs> But you, then you could you could say that oh, I don't have free will then if there's fate, mm -hmm. simulation. Do we have free will? And I would argue yes, we do have free will. But um, I think there's some sort of fate. Free in what sense though? Because kind like, of trying to protect us in a some sense. Some people can be physically trapped. Others can be emotionally trapped. You think about how your chemistry works in your head. Yeah, I mean, like you're not. Oh, you're not ever 100% free in control of your freedom like well, even just small things like rearranging yourself on chair because you're uncomfortable it's like yeah, do it. yeah you don't want to do that but like your body's giving you telling you like no it's all it's all intertwined with like you know when you think about like something that your body's just done right and you're like oh well I didn't think to do that just instinctively like a part of my body just like oh, like a hiccup like hiccups are, are a good example when you think about Free, free will, yeah. hiccups can literally take you out of life. But here's the thing, like, right? What are you doing? I'd say your body and your mind are almost like two different sides of the same coin. Mm. Like, it's the same with conscious and subconscious. Mm. I feel like your subconscious and your body are more one together. So your subconscious kind of acts on its own, it takes into the knowledge, your body kind of remembers things, muscle memory, shit like that. But your conscious and your um, mind tend to be the same thing so when you're doing your thing or whatever it is you're doing you're conscious of it and you, you you're putting your mind to it and you're trying to remember and stuff that's that's you mm. and then your subconscious is kind of like the other side of you almost like uh instinctive primal <laughs> your instinctive side which kind of protects you it's like a protective it does it to protect you, like, oh, I'm uncomfortable. Oh, shit, my testicle feels like it's, <laughs> it's coming off. I'm going to have to move. And then you, it tr triggers something in your conscious, like, oh, I do feel a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll move my right nut to the left. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, <coughs> that's that's, that's but, all it is like. Yeah, it, but that's not fate. I don't think that's related to no, fate. No, but I was, I, was, I was saying about you saying that uh, it being freedom of will. Yeah, no, but I think free will is free a will. thing. Uh, like you could do whatever you well any anything like if you wanted to scream at top of your lungs. See, it's a will of freedom. It's not a way. You don't say way of freedom. Mm, true, that is a good point. It just means you're willing. Because I would say if to act however you want to move. But a way of freedom. Some people eventually do get trapped in their own bodies. <laughs> yeah, but if we're talking like free will in society, that is the most terrifying thing for me. By the way, I think what if like say you were in like a car accident and like. You just like were as conscious as what you are now, and like your brain still works, but like your whole body can't move. You can't even speak. So like, okay, you're like, like a you're, vegetable, you're, yeah, trapped in yeah, a vegetable. But you could still think. You, but you just can't communicate with anyone, and like they just think you're fucked. Right. So would you argue that that's, that's you can't even move your eyes? That's just unlucky. Like, um, like I said, it comes out to fear. I again. would wanna be euphemized if that ever happened to me. I'm yeah, saying that what on if, the record. What if the doctors didn't know you were, you were conscious? Don't matter. And they were just like, oh, if we'll I'm, keep him alive because that's what we're meant to do. If I'm in that state, 
Why? Unless I'm just in a coma. Right? <laughs> they don't know you're conscious. What if you are trapped in a coma? No, be, that's my worst fear, actually. That's one of my you, worst fears. Do you fears. want to know something crazy? What's that? Uh, a woman had this weird condition where that oh, sort of happens. I've heard about it. And she went and had like some spinal surgery or something. <sighs> and she was still like conscious through the whole thing. Like when they well, cut, cut her back open, she said she felt like she, she was screaming out. But, like, nothing no coming out. And I'm just like, well, yo, that's anesthetic. Some people that's have. That's like a, some horror movie yeah, type stuff. When, when, people, when, when people have anesthetic <sighs> in them, right? Anesthes anesthetic. It's meant to send you asleep, isn't it? Put you in an unconscious state. Yeah. But sometimes it's not 100% effective. There'll be like a 1 in 100 time or whatever, or you've got like a chemical imbalance in your head that counters, um, keeps you awake while the anesthetic sends your body to sleep. So it'll send your body to sleep, but your consciousness is still like thinking it's awake, like, I'm still awake here, what's going on? And I'm like trying to tell my body it's not happening, and you're just kind of stuck in a loop and your body's not responding. So it's just like you're half there and you yeah, know. It happened the other night when I jumped out of bed. That was, same with sleep paralysis. That was horrible. I remember getting out of bed and knowing immediately. It was the exact same feeling I had when I was like 13. So we're talking about half, half time of mm. our life and now. Right. Uh, so double my life at 13. I don't know why, but it, I just, I got up in the middle of the Feeling it's like everything was deathly silent. Super, super weird. My, my bo whole body, I felt like I was asleep. I ran to the bathroom and I'm just like, oh my god, like this. I'm mm. splashing my face full of water. You like lost all your physical sense. Oh yeah, like everything would just. You could see, you could see and. Well, I was still, I was walking about normal. Like, you're walking, you're more. I, I were walk. away, but I, I, it, it, like I weren't. And well, it might be part it, of your. Body it's it's, it's <gasps> the most horrible feeling I can possibly there imagine. Comes. <laughs> it's, oh, that's weird. It's, it's not. It's not a pain. Yeah. It's like a bodily sensation. It's like that's like gas. That's like making me feel like I'm in this proper dream state. Do you know, actually, Sleep the best paralysis. way of describing what what the feeling was. Awesome. You know, the come up on acid. Maybe I don't know. Well, the come up on acid for me has always been right super strong you just can't handle it and it felt like that when i woke up like like i was breaking through and i'm like i was starting to sweat and cold and i was sweating not a lot but i was starting well, to panic i was like it could be my a, hat off i was shaking that could have been adrenaline you might have just got like a weird adrenaline spike no for some it, it, it were horrible it, it would you know it could have just been like low amounts of uh, dmt that well, have, that have Seeped out. You must have just died then because that's what happened when you died. No, no, it was like. <clears throat> I think maybe I was in a deep sleep and immediately woke up and mm. was like. I, I just remember st I stood up in room and I'm like. You're just panicking. Oh, no. Fuck no. I was literally like. Yeah. I'm, I hope I'm going to call my dad. It's like one in the morning. I'm like, can't call. Can't call anyone. Can I'm actually like. <sighs> proper weird like this. I, I actually started going like this, like in the bathroom, proper like panicking. It's not like you had a mini panic attack. Well, I, I you had sleep paralysis in a well, way. Well, what I did was when I started breathing like that, I quickly you remember before splashed that? the water in my face. Yeah. Well, I just woke up. Do, do you remember what happened in the before, like in your dream? It might have been something in your dream that's just startled you and you're going to fight or flight. No, no, just my, uh, the, 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 the the moment of consciousness from a dream to waking up is like instantaneous mm -hmm. for me, like just like so a you, switch. There was a delay there, that's some sort. Um, no, because it might not to do it. It was just like I, I knew exactly where I were in the room. Everything was normal, but like, everything seemed a bit like I've gone into the box. <laughs> the box. It's like if it's like in a video game, like how developers like hide secret assets like way under the map where you could possibly even go, and okay. they put like little. So I, little box like an Easter egg. I did, I did you trigger it? Really? I it was like it. somewhere, like it was like I, I were in a different realm. I'm not joking. It was like I were in a different planet for like about twenty minutes. And I, I actually, after I did that, I calmed, calmed down, splashing my face, yeah. uh, and drank loads of water. So I'm back to that. All right, sounds crazy. That it, I knew it, 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 it faded after that. It was just it were some must have been some chemical imbalance. That, but what what are chances? That, that one, it happened 
essentially exactly the same amount of years from the first time I did it. Or had it not done. How do you know that though? How do you know that? Because I was 13 or 14 when first How do you know the exact that? Just turned 28. Because I remember at that age like that happening. And I almost had a heart attack from drinking energy drinks. <laughs> well, you've got ADHD, so. Yeah, so. Any energy drinks caffeine would be coffee. bad. Any caffeine doesn't. It doesn't do the intended result for me. Well, your brain's already going like 100 miles per hour. You've already said you, you calculate it conversations in your head before they finish. <laughs> uh, I think my brain does work a bit quick as well, but I've got some sort of, um, well, counter. I feel like my brain. Subcon my subconscious almost counted it. <laughs> like, oh, you've got a bit faster. Um, let's just, Actually, um, I will say this <laughs> about <laughs> In all the times that we've been mates, in all the times I've rattled on about shit, you've always been able to like keep up and still like somewhat understand what I'm talking I think about. Witness, witness is a, a big. I, I, I think I I'm a bit witty. myself down for you. No, no, I, I totally understand. Like, you know, when you're speaking with like your friends, like your tree surgery friend. <laughs> Who? Rob. Oh Rob, right. yeah, we can bring Rob on. Yeah, I, I mean, Rob don't mind I just didn't want to name. bring his name up and stuff. We know this hippie guy. Hippie guy, he's a good guy. He's got dreads. One of the nicest people you meet. Down to about here. But he's just <laughs> he's just older than us, isn't he? He's just on a different generation, I guess. And uh, it's kind of funny seeing the you know the the older side of him see out because I see him. He's on a wavelength and a socialist. I, I want to get him to say his age on podcast. No, no he's, gonna he's, not gonna, he's not going to want to tell him what he's age. No one's going to believe it at all. They're like, what? This sexy bastard. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we always joke about this guy. You do. I just joke because you say it all the time. <laughs> Call him sexy, Rob. <laughs> We're sexualizing your mate here. You can't be doing this. <sighs> no, <Nah, laughs> it'd be it'd be calm about it. Daddy, <laughs> it won't it won't care. Um, where, where were we going with this? Oh, we're talking about our subconscious states and whatnot. Well, this all brings. Yeah, you... no, that feeling was so horrible. It sounds. I, I'd never want to feel like. It that. just sounds like you're an adrenaline like rush for some reason for me. It but would... you didn't know where you were. You kind of had it while you're in your sleep. And you forgot your dream or something. If I was schizophrenic and woke up and felt like that, and like if, if I was hallucinating and seeing like demons up there and shit, I'd, I'd have thought they were in hell. I would have believed it. Fair enough. I mean, it's scary stuff, that. Like, human mind is the most powerful oh, yeah. and dangerous thing. That's the scariest also, thing. Look at all the beautiful things you managed to create. Mm, that's, that's why you need to look at the positives, not the negatives. But could you argue that any human could parallel the beauty of nature? Like, in terms of what they could create. Uh, well, you could say art. Art is... Um... Yeah, but what's better, a painting or a forest? Like, I'd always pick a forest. <laughs> no, but like... Fuck, I thought you were going to put me... Uh, I'm getting a bit of cramp in my leg, I might have to... Oh, did you bring a banana? <laughs> did you buy one? <laughs> well, I've got a potassium deficiency, so I need an order in me when I've got cramp. So the first time me and Miles ever actually did something outside of college where we met... Oh yeah, tell them how we met, tell them how we met. We... I asked him... <laughs> It, it was kind of like that actually. We went to uh, the, gr the dry ski village in Sheffield. Yeah, ski village, it's gone now, but no snow, just. Yes, it burnt down. Coincidentally. It burnt down three times. A didn't ski it? village. Twice or down. three times it burnt down. And it finally went. Yeah, too much. so all the locals knew at the time that was some big like, uh, financial, like, what would you call it? Cover up? Fraud, isn't it? Well, it could be. We don't know. Arse, it's speculated. And speculated. Yeah. Through my leg. Well, yeah, because they couldn't afford to retract the thing, and they needed to do that for a while. Um, but yeah, we, uh, so we, we so met in we college. Went, we went up. We went up this ski slope anyway. Yeah, we're just. You randomly invited me to ski village. I don't know how we got on the topic, <laughs> but you were like, "Oh yeah, I go snowboarding," and I'm like, "Shit, I want to go snowboarding." You're like, "Oh, you should come ski village," and I'm like, "Oh, that sounds like a good idea." And you're like, "Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll sort it out. We'll do some of that." Like, Fuck yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. So when I when I described to you this lift that we have to get up, you have to understand the logistics of how it works and what it looks like. If you imagine an anchor shape, like a T, comes down like this. This, this uh, it's like an elasticated rope that you can pull the actual device down it's like a t-shape at the bottom so you have to hook it right under your junk on and if you're on skis it's pretty whilst easy. it's moving at like 10 mile per but, hour yeah it's 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 on a conveyor belt it doesn't stop stopping. it is not stopping so you you're on your board you're like this hopping about <laughs> and you've got to quickly grab it put it on your junk and then the other person has to get on so i was trying to get miles to do it and i'd done this like 40 50 times because like i was learning to do it and i always felt 
with the instructor. I was so embarrassed every time I went up. I always just for everyone. Like, and, people and he on stops it. for everyone. <laughs> I guess fucking dumb. Like, like, oh, the, a couple of times the instructor actually got annoyed. <laughs> like, he's like, he's like, come on, mate. Like, get on. He's like, <laughs> I'm not fucking busy. He's you're all lot up here, and I'm panicking. Like, I, I'm not used to being on the board, so like snowboard. If, if you, you imagine a snowboard, like this is why I prefer ice skating because with with in the snowboard, right, you you're can't stuck with you one can't leg. move your feet. Like you're yeah. restricted to the board, yeah, so like true. you're like a fucking penguin. Well, this is why people skate in a bag. They, they, they could do whatever they want with the feet. But we, I went with Miles, and like that same thing happened. Like I was like the instructor, and I'm, like, I, I could see that Miles was gonna fall. And he did, and the ride stopped, and, and he holds his leg, and goes, oh man, oh. I pulled all my muscles like, trying to stay on it, and I'm just like, like, yo, <laughs> bro, you alright? And he just turns around and goes, oh, I need to get a banana in me. <laughs> I do need a banana in me. <laughs> and you're like, whoa. That was the first thing where I thought, this, this well, could be a potential friend. That's funny, isn't it, that like... That all started from you, like, <laughs> saying a crazy one-liner like that. I, I had to because I was just like, oh no, my cramps playing up, I need potassium. I, I need you would potassium. say that, though. I need banana, like, that's the best, <laughs> that's the best source of potassium. I need a banana in but There were no bananas to be found, so I had to just power through like a trooper. But <laughs> yeah. the other one where you yeah, they, they play the game with the bongos. Where you clap with the bongos, and he does this, like, weird look on <laughs> after <laughs> and he keeps playing them, and, like, he explained after, he actually... You can tell he starts panicking at one point. <laughs> Playing the bongo. Just pretending to play a game like that. Got, Those like, bongos are making me bongo. He got, he got, he got, he got, he got bongo PTSD, bro. He actually got PTSD from The way you smack it. those drums. <laughs> no like, game. I was fucked and she's just like, you're not going to fuck me, I'm just going to leave. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> like a monkey. He's all primal. Well, I get it if you're not it's in... It. Uncomfortable with that in that moment, and like, especially if you're like too high, like, mm. like a daunting task at that point. But uh, no, that's such, that's such a great story, and the fact that they, they recreated that, that as a real scene, craziest thing. Right, what topic do you want to talk about now then? Let's talk about some drugs! <laughs> that's like episode 20. <laughs> yeah, episode 100, that'll be the special reveal. Yeah. <laughs> you all didn't even hear half of that. That I split. Um, right. You might be bleep so much. Do you want to talk about? Um, do you want to go very uh, in-depth conspiracy, or do you want to stick to more light-hard comedy? I like conspiracy. Okay, conspiracy it is then. Aliens. Oh dear. Do you think an alien species has visited planet Earth? I don't know. It's a yes that, or no question. Nah. <laughs> it's, not a yes or no question. <laughs> it's a yes or no question. Because I would argue. Listen, if there were any evidence of aliens, even now, like even if I saw like a person walk towards me and more, and then just more, and then walk towards me, how dangerous! <laughs> I, it it would be scientifically and mathematically more probable that I've had some psychological yeah. break. You've been dosed. Hallucinating. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Well, if I come back a few years later and then saw like a portal mm. open and then I went through and I was like, oh my god, I'm on a ship. Here's my problem. If, if, if I was like actually like on some sort of ship, like, and I went. You need space, physical evidence. Yeah, and I was like watching Earth fucking vanish away in a few seconds, I'd be like, whoa, where the fuck going? Like, whoa. That's what you'd believe like, in. I'd, I'd be like, they'd invite you all like, you. And you're like, all right, mate, all right, pal, I'm just going to smoke this. It's bit See, here and I'm always, not gonna pay attention to you geezers in costumes. You know? Boom! <laughs> 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 Maybe it's real! Nah, it's a stag coming for his man. It's running for his man. Oh my fucking stag. I'm, we're gonna have to pause that alien we, conversation. I'm coming back to it. Do we know stag? We were, we were walking here at dark. It's fucking mad dark. <laughs> we got circled by a bunch of deer. There were some deers, but I think they were in two groups, so like we kind of split them apart, and then they kind of panicked because like they're only escape route we were cutting through, so they kind of all circled as like some sort of seance. And I was, and me, he wasn't like, scared one bit, and I was like, motherfucker, there's a stag in this crowd here. Yeah. like at least 15. Stags have got fucking weapons on their heads. If that gets scared and charges at us, we're fucking dead, we can't well, see it coming. Uh, there were probably about 20 deer there. Maybe. Yeah, but there's got to be one patch. stag in that deer, there's got to be. You know, do you know what's funny as well? It's his fucking bitches. What conversation oh. did we have just before we come out? 
that there's no animals that we have to worry about oh. and we're right privileged about yeah we talk about living in the uk imagine if we if we if you like actually got struck by one and ended up in hospital and then like i'm saying to you do you remember that oh thing my I said to you, but, like, god you that would be so unlucky fate. that would be fair intervening like oh you're not scared, are you? You're not scared anything can kill you. You're the fucking stag. You you believe in luck, don't you? Well, I've, I've experienced so much bad luck that I've come to be a pessimistic luck counter. You know the odds <laughs> are never in your favour. Yeah, I know the ratios of it. But today... You'd be the first to die in Hunger Games. Today, I went to Costa. I went to Costa. Uh, and the guy I was with, he pulled out a stick. He had to pay 50p for charity. And he, and he pulled out a stick and he got a free fucking cut, free hot drink. Okay. And I was like, oh, motherfucker, he's probably got the best hot drink. Is there any point in me doing it? Because he's won it. And I thought, fuck it, I'll give it a go. Because there was like an option to win like a free cake or something. What do you mean? Where? Costa. They were doing this deal where you, you pull this stick out, you get a colour, you get a free drink. And it's just a regular... Just a homeless guy? No, just some guy. Oh. I thought you were hitting on some homeless guy getting some coffee no. then. But he baited, <laughs> he baited me into it, the cheeky bastard. But yeah, the stag were just... He wasn't scared one bit. They were fucking circling us. <laughs> I would flashlight. I'm like, where the fuck's the stag? Looking up past all these deer. Just like, nah, there's going to be a stag in this crowd. <laughs> I'm waiting for this fucking murderer to come out and stab me with his horn. I'll turn my light off me. Out. Nah, you're a bastard, you. You, you. you have no survival instincts. Like, you're just Jesus, like, Jesus, take, take the wheel. wheel. And he'd fucking penetrate your, your fucking hands. Like, ah! You know, for me, it's like, um, oh, what's that film there? Where she's dancing in Meadow. So, is it Sound of Music? It is, isn't it? Maybe. She went, that's me, like, with, with deer just circling me. Oh. Actually, it's like that scene from Open Season. What you see where they're all running around now. That's what happened to us. And I just can't believe you weren't on your defence on back foot. They were surrounding us, and I was like, this is a trap. There's a fucking... I've seen too much anime to know what no, happened. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I, just, I was thinking, an anime, you see, they run around you, don't you? And you don't know where he's going to come from. Spin attack. And I was ready for it, like, where the... Is this stuff? No, I worried that like the circle were gonna get smaller. I thought they were like, <laughs> like, like, like look at each the estimate in the distance between them. <laughs> That's what I mean. There must have been like twenty of them because no, they made lot. like a full circle. That was they? like a full. That were cool. That though. didn't you think full. that were cool? I mean, it was cool. It was like a full circle. I was, circle of deer, I right? was so on the back foot defensive because I was waiting for the stag to be show up and just stab us. They're fast, aren't they? Yeah. And then you get up to like forty miles an hour. Yeah, the fucking deer, mate. On deer, so a deer like technically fastest. Uh, land mammal in England. Cheat. Oh, in England. Other than dogs. Oh, I mean, no, they're faster than dogs. They've probably got a cheetah in a zoo somewhere, so no. They're way faster than dogs. There's a cheetah in a zoo. No, that don't count. <laughs> <laughs> you mean native, <laughs> native creatures? Like, if a, if a cheetah gets out of a zoo, then, then you're saying, like, oh, England's got cheetahs now. become native, yeah. Well, no, because there's only one. How's it going to find another one? Could be a mother and some cubs. Just. What has one with a bear? Oh, a bear cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, a man cheater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, where were we? We're back to aliens, okay? The aliens are back to us. Here's my thing, right, right. I want an... If the, well, there no, might, know might be aliens that created simulation then. Well, that's exactly what I was saying <laughs> in the last episode. Um, here's the thing, right, with aliens. Like... I need to wear my tinfoil hat for this one. There's so much... You know, our civilization... You're talking time as well. We're talking time. Civilizations in the past, the technology they That's had. That's gonna snap that one day, bro. There's a log right above us, and this tree's been sounding creaky. Look at it, it's dead. Look. As soon as it makes a noise, I'm, I'm bored, mate. I'm bored. Right. Um, so aliens. There's so many civilizations in the past where they've done some mad shit, and we can't explain it. Egypt is a big example. We can't even explain it. So that history is just. We could, all we can speculate is that aliens do That, it. to me, is more probable because... You think past ancient aliens as I, opposed to reckon, modern aliens? I reckon the Utah pyramids as, as, beacons. as beacons, like mathematical well, beacons. So like imagine with the Orion belt. Exactly. So if you think about like in a primitive civilization, the best way to signal out to life on other planets would be to show something significant from space. Like a map. That's what star systems are, maps. Yeah, like a the small, aliens. like like a like a beacon. And mm. um, yeah, so I kind of I say I believe it, but it's more it's more so that it's not necessarily what I believe. It's just what I naively would hope. Yeah. To believe. I'm saying both. I think a lot of like but people with religion are like that. They're like. What about the theory? Of, choose to believe it rather than. What about the theory of you know like before we were Homo sapiens, 
they were like Neanderthals and all these different human little sub races. Mm. Uh, do you think aliens came and altered our DNA so we became Homo sapiens? No, I think it was probably just more like, like survival of the fittest. Yeah, so different human diff, species, diff, different pocket bubbles of yeah. different types of humans. Like they even it's said, intricate. they could have been could have been a weird uh, mermaid hybrid, like a monkey mermaid. Um, monkey mermaid. So, like they say, where some small coastal lines that would be a started mermaid. to uh, go more underwater until eventually it was just sea. And they said, oh, these millions of years, or tens of millions, whatever. I'm this is hypothetical, right? <laughs> you don't believe mermaid exists. It, it, it is, but it also isn't. They, they said that they did exist, but they don't anymore. It's like... I mean, webbed feet, yeah. They, yeah, so... That's still a they were, trait. They were, they, these certain types of, like, let's just say, apes or whatever. Monkeys, I don't know. The, I don't know the technical... Mermonks. <laughs> I, no, I don't know the specific term. Homo like monkeys and like Fishigan. apes and chimps. They're, they're all like yeah, yeah. It's, it's Homo like, erectus. Anyway, the they reckon that over time they started to like mate with each other, learn how to use spears in the water, and that's it. They, they <laughs> started holding their breath for longer times oh, underwater. I was gonna say the and eventually, <laughs> they became semi-aquatic. So like, Semi aquatic egg laying mammal. Eventually, when all the land had gone, <laughs> you've got tails. So, yeah, mer merman. Yeah, I, mer I, mer I, I agree. I, I see, I don't think the aliens altered a genetic code. Monkey men. Some people do. <laughs> Mermonks. Um, <laughs> yeah, mermonks. I don't, I don't believe that. Uh, but I'm also going to bring up a very important point that everyone keeps almost forgetting when it comes to aliens, right? What happens when you bring a species into an unnative habitat that doesn't, you know, necessarily belong there? Okay. I guess three things. Go on then. Uh, symbiosis, like cohabitate, right. living right. wherever it's living. Adaptation. It dies out, I mean, like, yeah. like thrives. Right. Here's the thing, right? So, if aliens are from a different fucking planet. If they came here, we might have killed them. So, aliens are from a different fucking planet. So, they've evolved and grown their separate ways separately. They've developed all these diseases and stuff over time, right? So their immune system will be completely different to any creature on planet Earth. If they came and, and do walked among us, this stuff, this stuff, that they would this, die, or we would if, die. If that's, if that's true, <laughs> and it's, trapped, it's been trapped in ice, right? That it was still exists. Have you heard about the new zombie virus? Zombie virus in ice, permafrost, yeah. Like, that to me is scary though. Well, like, viruses are fucking terrifying. If anything's alien on this planet, it's got to be a fucking virus. Have you seen those fucking things microscopically? They are robots in disguise. I, They're biological robots. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really look at that. You don't see them at the microscopic level. They're basically a crystal on legs. They're a crystal on legs and like, okay. I'm a virus, mate. I'm a fucking virus. Nice. <laughs> if anything's alien on this planet, viruses would be alien. And if aliens did visit, I mean, every time they come, they're going to bring a new virus or a new disease. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily or something. mean that. Like, that's that's like saying that like the air they breathe is toxic or something. Unless their technology is that advanced. And I I assume they if have we're a talking about... Medical system. Yeah, yeah I mean, if, if you're talking about like any sort of species that exists, out there in the universe that somehow can reach us from a super astronomically high distance. It don't matter then because they'll, they'll have like... You think they'll have technology yeah. that will help yeah. them survive? Yeah, the thing is... It'll be like Star Trek, they'll just go... Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But we don't have the technology for that. Or so we think. So any alien that comes down to this planet is going to cause diseases for the population there. And maybe that's why they don't visit us, because they don't want to kill us off. Because they think, oh, every time we go, a new virus comes, or oh, they just get the plague or some shit. I think any, any species smart enough to find us would be smart enough to stay away from us. Yeah, exactly. To save us, I or think, to, I think, to watch us I think the, as enemies. they technically could be millions of... Yeah, so many star systems. No, I mean, like, actually, like, looking at them. Oh, you mean watching us, like... Yeah, just observing Intelligent us. ones. It could be, like, could, could... Some could be just, like, watching us as... As uh, ant, ants under a microscope. Oh, right. um, I think they're that beyond us. But others might actually be able to zoom as far in as being able to see what's in the cone. And if if you imagine how like light works, if if they've got light bending technology, essentially they could view every single part of the planet other than caves 
just from the ship. The ship, like, yeah. Not just that, but you could like bend like, like awesome. see down in that much from from but down there. Do you think they'll ever come to a stage where a crazy mirror technology. where we progress that much that we become a threat to them? We become interstellar. We start uh, jumping from planet to planet. Do you think they'll see us as, as a threat and exterminate us, or do you think they'll pull their hand out and have peace and try and negotiate some sort of well, resource? It comes back to uh, that Kurgis Scout video about the Dark Forest scenario. Yeah, that basically means uh, because of where we're at technologically, we we're, we're at, like the biggest risk of automatically either destroying something we come across, or they That's just obliterate us. Yeah, but, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I would like to think that there's not, I mean, let's be right, there probably is, but I'd like to think that there isn't a ship on the way that could just immediately blow the whole planet up. I mean, we've invented nukes, and nukes can wipe out continents. They've got to, they take one look at it, and they're like, oh, there's all these nice resources on it, and they're like, oh my god, look at all the pollution. Just blow it up. Yeah. I mean, you know, planet, like, with all the crap on it at the moment, like, depending on. Or, do you think aliens? How bad it was. The whole thing would just go on. Do you think aliens would just come and take res sneak into our planet and take a resource real quick and fuck off? Because that'd be well, I mean, like, the safer the, option. The, the typical thing in Star Trek was like steal and run. <laughs> no, it was like they would beam down in disguise, gather specific intel on people, do investigations, do scientific aliens would do research, that? and like, I mean, it's not crazy to assume, right, that people like fucking Mark Zuckerberg could be like an alien or a lizard or a Just because it looks so freaky. Looking. Nah, that dude, there's, there's something not right about Oh yeah, guy. he's got some sort of... Either he's the smartest genius ever and has just always played up is. a weird character. I don't think he is. And in real life he, he is genuinely normal. Fuck. He just got lucky. Or he just is the most awkward guy ever. No, but he is. Have you seen that video of him eating that toast? Yo guys, peep this. That's not how you eat toast, is it? <laughs> Did you see that moth go right on camera when I said that? I, I think Mark Zuckerberg, he literally admitted, he admitted so. that he only created Facebook to understand relationship statuses. It was literally just to get a social, social media where you can see everything, like where they come from, um, pictures and stuff, uh, fucking what relationship they're in. He wants to see if they're single or a couple I or whatever. originally it was like a hot on outside. Yeah, hot on, no, it was like, oh, um, you were copying other like formats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like people talk about Mark Zuckerberg being like revolutionary for his he time. He just got lucky. He, picked, he, he just got lucky. And, yeah. Like, the internet was peaking. It was, it was what popping off. People were doing. Everyone was like, "Oh, the internet's the shit. You can get all this information." But I can also upload information, or I'll create a site where you can put all your information on, and everyone can see it. <laughs> see, this comes back into like the early days of like, the internet. Like it really was like a different culture back then. Like. People talk about like the golden age of YouTube. <clears throat> you had to truly be like that kid that came home at the end of every day yeah. and just watch through like your favorite funny videos. Yeah, 2007 and, and shit. Yeah, man, there was like, some crazy stuff back then. Like it was. Did you realize how many racist comments there were? Just we're talking just oh, like I know. ten years ago. I know. This is like you, you know, you know, Joey. <laughs> it was Salads? so unfiltered. Do you, um, so unfiltered. Do you, do you remember when Joey Salads made that uh, video? It were Trump car in the hood. See, I don't. This it How annoys me because this was a long time ago. This was probably like was twelve years ago. Or something. Was super long ago. <clears throat> but um, this video is fake, by the way. Just just to preface this, they, someone was filming this from their apartment complex, and like you could see how flat they were in, and uh, it showed the car park, and it's talking to what these supposed thugs, right? It's telling them like, oh, you're gonna come up, find this car, you're gonna beat it. I mean, they got like long sticks, like hockey cues, and like a baseball bat, and like I don't know if it's like a guy with a chair or something, but just like a bunch of items that they're just hitting the car with. And the message was like, he goes, oh, I guess you can't like trust um, a Trump car in in the hood because they're all like violent. Like he started perpetuating uh, uh, the this the stereotype that all all that all black people in the hood are Race, just criminals yeah, right, right. and I forgot YouTube was even like that to be honest because I, I, either I didn't see that as much back then or there wasn't as much but like to see it as blatant as that everyone's doing a 180 because I feel like it got better right mm. but since everything's so woke these days putting in my fly yeah oh, somewhere it's good somewhere it's bad 
uh, everyone's becoming so woke these days. People are just being rebellious at sacred, and they're becoming more racist just because you know, like everyone's everyone's become more open to it. I mean, um, what's the word? I, I Forward. I, I, We're kind of progressing as a society mm. against racism, which is a good thing. Racism bad, yeah, it's always been a bad thing. Now it's like, we're taking it seriously more. However, there's people who want yeah, to we, rebel. We, we treat our slaves with respect, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we only whip them on a Tuesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Oh. Um, <laughs> kidding. Um, <laughs> people are becoming more rebellious because they, they think, oh, everyone's this. Everyone's saying this is the right way, this is that. I want to be the rebel who goes against it for almost like attention, self, selfish reason, mm. uh, all on this and that. And I feel like people are just do, doing it for sacred now. They're not doing it because they actually are racist. They're doing it just because they want to be a rebellious. And we, in a sense, that's it becomes worse because well, it, it just comes down to ignorance at yeah. any day, but uh, a lack of understanding of someone else's culture, background. Yeah. People, ignorance. People don't want to take. People are saying it's so busy, but like at the same time, no one seems to want to take time to listen to like other people's like actual like, issues, like, life problems that haven't really. You know, we we think we think we progress because we're against racism. Uh, we're all for like you know like um, sec people's sexuality. Like when we, we were growing up, everyone used to take piss out of each other, saying, "Oh, you're you know you're gay or whatever," and saying it was a bad thing. Oh yeah, we don't like. All, we always said that was a bad thing. All, so like, we growing up like cod lovers, like back in Modern Warfare two days, it were you're an M word, you're you're an R word, yeah. you're an F word, like it was all everything. Like it, it's changed now, and I feel like it's changed for the better. It was. Crazy back Accepting. then. Accepting. That nah, was yeah. also when you think of the we had the golden age of gaming and the golden age of YouTube because with the gaming aspect, lobbies were like yeah. way more unfiltered. Yeah. Of course now they've cracked down with all like diddlers that go on there. And like it's more modern. So they should, yeah. Well a lot of games don't have like game chat anymore. Like, you have to I know, really set up a party Nintendo phone. Switch like they don't really do that because kids I, are on there. I right? know this because I remember <laughs> growing up and like even times when I didn't have a mic, you'd, you'd hit people through the TV. Or they'd scream shit and then like your mom or dad would hear it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like you just you just have like some racist, some racist kids yeah. screaming through your TV at like one in the morning from like Sweden or something. Like. Yeah, you, it, mad funny. You just be mad. My childhood gaming trauma. Two games. That one that you just said. What Rayman? The original or like Rayman 2 Revolution? So the original one, there were this bonus level I think where water were rising. Oh yeah. There was this the, music playing. The jungle Rayman were there. I might just throw a clip up now. So <laughs> yeah, that was a scary level. The like, water imagine, level. imagine hearing this when you're PS1. like 6 or 7. <laughs> that was a scary level. I don't level. know what's happening. Raining, monsoon. You have to climb. You know what's even crazy though? Just knowing that like Enemies oh, like, stopping no, he, you. He dies and you're like, that's it. I just drowned that character. <laughs> Same with Sonic! Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, Sonic. Any war levels. Even, even Crash Bandicoot war levels freak me out. You know, wanna play some Sonic? Butum. Butum. John Tron is one of the smartest comedians. John Tron is quite funny. He worked on his character so well, like, he's. Done exactly what I'm trying to like replicate in a sense mm. of like it's an extended in. sense of his own character. Yeah, yeah. fool me once. Yeah, uh, that was good. You fool, fool me twice. twice. Shame on me. Fool, fool me, me three times. times. Okay, you're officially you're like officially. Uh, you know the one in the club <laughs> walks in with a suit in a tie and says, uh, "It's a Giorgio Armani. It makes me dad." No, listen. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, play with that shit. Like the way he says it. Yeah, he's got some. Sastry. I ain't having that shit. He's got some good. He does this, it looks off as if <laughs> yeah. he's like someone stood behind camera and he, just, he cuts just after his little smirk. I love when he goes... Like, <laughs> he knew he captured pure brilliance in that moment. <laughs> My favourite meme will always be the stop meme where he's like, I don't, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> I believe that's from... That is, that's one of the Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Yeah. Because there's, there's that story of that kid that's like... Yeah. It's like he's going through puberty but he's becoming a wolf. <laughs> And he's talking to this girl and he's saying something like, and I've got hair growing like down there. He goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Lady, please, you don't understand what you're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> he just has this full on breakdown. He starts singing and it's all in slow motion. And he does this weird thing. This is how you know he's a comedic genius. As he's singing, 
you know when you know something's about to happen because you do it and, that's, and then you see it? Yeah. He does, as he sings, he taps like the bottom of the hammer, like like a microphone, taps it on the side. I don't know if you remember that bit. I don't, I don't. I don't. He's going, oh, and just fucking smacks it like this. He's to do something. <laughs> and he does this weird jump, but he, he purposely picks like the most blurry frame. Yeah. And he, he flies off onto a rocket. Yeah. Into he's got some good editing skills. Like, he's probably got an editor now, but he did some stuff himself in there. What I like is how he's managed to capture, like, you know, when you have one of those crazy, like, like in a funny mental breakdown sense where you're just so frustrated but you, you just have to laugh <laughs> and like you imagine these crazy scenarios where you can jump into it some and it's crafted that yeah i don't know uh, he's a good youtuber one of old youtubers i love was ray william johnson from the beginning i don't like him anymore he, he's gone off the rails but his fucking equals three videos i lived for that nah, shit. Nah, what you want about ray yeah He's made a massive comeback, did you know? No, no, yeah, but this is... Bro, oh, he's pulling numbers. He's got a new audience now, though. He's not... Sh- have a guess how many views one of his shorts got of a week. This was like well, a couple of weeks ago. Is he doing it on TikTok or Facebook or some shit? YouTube. He probably does he's all... doing on YouTube. He probably still. does all others, but he's doing YouTube. I unsubscribed ages ago. Like I used to love the he's, guy. He's brought all like, your favourite Martian back. Yeah, no, I do, I'm I, not I listening still, to any of it. I still... So, I actually do. I did listen to it. And you know what? He's trying to pick... It's like... It's almost like a rehash of itself. It's like it's like trying to be so. You did a remix to Open Tears, and I'm not gonna lie, it was popping because you know we loved Open Tears, didn't we? Sip sip sipping on Open Tears. Yeah, yeah. Sip sipping on sip sipping on. That was a good song, but they did a remix to it. I remember that. And they added some extra stuff to it. And it was like, oh shit! And they got this female artist doing some music in background or whatever. I think it was like, and I, I could be wrong with numbers, it, but I think it might have been two hundred million views. On a show. Well, I ain't, I'm going to have to watch some of his latest videos million. then. Do you know Johnson. how much that is? How much? It's one fifth of a billion. <laughs> if you think of it like that, uh, like Ray's pulling numbers, like no, but I was annoyed because like he basically what he did was he tried to sell out and he tried to yeah. do it very sneakily. This and is only, why I like him. Only a few of like the devout longtime fans like me I'm that me. have like forgot about him and come back and then you know just remember what he's done. He, he basically stopped doing YouTube and he went on to Facebook comedy and he started copying like the shit, yeah. like re upload It became like, rehashes. Like, it Wasn't just, it became like part of the fucking cancer culture of like. But everyone goes through that phase. I'm stuck. I'm going to watch well, his latest stuff. The reason why I didn't rate him for that is because he purely did it for, for, the, for, the, for the money. Not because it were less stressful. Because, I mean, let's be right. You, you re- you're doing a comedy show where you react to videos. You're not like. Yeah. You're not going out and making like full on sketches. He never did. What's like, annoying like is, I never, he never liked reaction videos. You never saw Ray in a sketch, no. ever. You never saw him on anyone's podcast. He did some all. sketches though. I've ever seen some sketches that were kind of kind I of funny. I think he did a podcast for a while. Did it? With his girlfriend, yeah. I think either they still exist or they've all been erased, but I remember them being a thing for a while. Do you not remember? Oh, when podcasts were still in the He should, he, 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 there were one time I, I, I just tuned into one episode and with this clip he was playing. He was talking to his girlfriend about saying, well, like, Japanese birds don't enjoy porn. And it's, he showed an example, but he didn't show it, but he played the audio. And she's going, and he's going, like, see, you can tell, like, she does not enjoy <laughs> this. And I'm like, I just, I remember turning it off and thinking, like, this were at the point where I'm what still, happened, like, Ray? I'm still kind of annoyed. And I'm, I really were, like, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> he's always been like that, though. He's always, he always uses Listen, stereotypes in a comedy. He's definitely changed Comedian a bit, itself. but he's still, it's still, it's, it's dumbed down equals free now. You get like shitty tidbits. That's what I mean. I can't and watch it's, his. It's crappy stuff because anymore. it's like, in comparison to what we grew up with, this crap now that he, he puts out, like, yeah, I, I'll admit. Let, let me explain why his content is so lazy. It just re, it, it solely relies on the fact that we're lazy as humans and just want to see a funny clip. Yeah. But then Ray's attached to it, and just by that chance that you get reeled in by his, you know, naturally, his let's charm. Be honest, charm He's got charisma. And He's personality. Got charisma. He's a very funny guy. Mm. He, he just chooses to be bottom barrel and like, I just think he could have, he could have. He could have been doing movies and shit by now. Oh, he, he said he wanted to get into acting. Didn't he do some? I movies? think he tried. He tried. Um, but I, I did respect him for a long time, and I still kind of do because yeah, I, mean, I, I used to shit on him for. Do you know? Just, what, do you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll changed, be honest. Man. I used to hate on him on on some of his comments because he ran nine point nine nine million subscribers for fourteen months. Oh, I yeah. recall he got stuck in there. He and got stuck on like 
And then he went down to 9.98, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this guy is probably not going to hit 10 million, which is kind of sad. Do you know what is on that? I think he's well, close to 12 mil. Yeah, yeah. Well, here's the thing. That's crazy, right? No, if you it, think, it like, but what about all those accounts that are inactive, like, all those They're millions of accounts that are just not even used? There's a figure. Well, it's no, possible. they've all been subscribed in, like, 2009. Oh, I know. Nine. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, I loved his equal, equal video. It was simple format. He, he put three videos on. He reacted to them in a humorous sense. It was a short video. It wasn't too long, but he took the piss to the fullest. Like obviously, some of his jokes were a bit edgy, and I liked edgy in his sense. Well, there were there was some racist stuff in there. Yeah, but it, it he, jokes, he like, bordered the line of. Would well, you remember the joke about him slapping the black? He did say the N word, did it? He I said the N word quite a few words. times. There were, there were, uh, if you've seen the. Uh, that was that I think was pretty it's bad. something like Epic Jedi Battle or something. Yeah, but YouTube wasn't... Watch that Ray William Johnson Epic Jedi Battle, something like that. And yeah. you're seeing the video, he goes... <laughs> it's funny how he does it. gets lightsaber comes up and he goes, Doop! Says M-word. Right. <laughs> yeah, and it used to throw that baby and oh my god, every time he threw that baby, oh, I lost my shit. This is why... I like, fucking lost my you, shit. You could, you could argue that we were more ignorant back then, in a sense. We but were. But we also now we mentally recognise like that there's certain lines that you can't cross so we choose not to do them to I mean not, I'd never cross those to lines not, anyway. to, not, to not ruffle any feathers essentially but I did laugh at him I can't deny that some I, I did laugh at him all, all, that, all that stuff is jokes man it's the stuff Shane Dawson did actually was like like the role like I used to be a massive massive Shane Dawson fan back in the day I couldn't get into and, I knew that Just guy would, would gay years before he even publicly announced it like this was way back when he was just still like a kid on the internet and uh, he, there was this uh, big black woman called Shauna who was like his best mate and she was right funny like naturally funny and she always used to brighten up videos and always laughing at that and Shane would just say like some crazy racist stuff around her and it was mad like there's one video where he stood out on this back porch like on this garden and he goes today's word of the day is and he just says hard art, like crazy, bro. Right in front of her as well. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and she's just smiling. Yeah. Um, but if we're talking old Ooh. YouTubers, iDubs. Um, I fucking loved iDubs' edginess. Like, yeah, iDubs. He he he's someone that I just to to today I can't. Only I be, only because his girlfriend. I see. I don't blame him for that. I used to love that guy. Really used to like that. He has lost his touch, but you could say something about Filthy Frank. It's not that, it's just... Filthy Frank was filthy. And then he decided to go a different career right, path. Right, so Georgie is a genius, man. Like, if we're talking about George Miller, also known as Filthy Frank, also known as the Dark Lord. The Chin Dark Chin, Lord! Salamander Man, <laughs> Lemonhead. Oh man, put our cosplayers up now, we went as cosplayers, Filthy Frank crew. Red Dick. We never did Red Dick, but we didn't have an Asian guy. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we'll, I'll show you what's left here. So, you know. <laughs> um, it's just funny because, like, how I imagine the podcast looks in my head is like. We look so stupid. You could see my dick. You could see my dick. We went out all night in a nightclub. Dressed like that. <laughs> Multiple nightclubs, if I remember. Yeah, do you remember that time that we did it, like, door one? Uh, and I'm there two... rubbing my nipples in public going, Yeah! <laughs> door one Halloween, we did, we did two nights oh, in a row. Oh, the mighty have fallen. <laughs> um, on the first night, we did the Filthy Frank costumes. And I had, I was coming down from f the flu. I was really <laughs> bad with gay. flu. And like, you know when you're just coming out? And, and, I'm gay. But, like, you feel like you're gonna be all right. You were swigging like, cough yeah. medicine and alcohol. So I, had, <laughs> <laughs> so I had a bottle of cough syrup. Half a bottle everywhere. Come, <laughs> I, I, I come with half a bottle. Chin -chin, I I'm so ill. I'm like, I was drinking booze, um, and having a smoke and getting ready. You know, like you do, because just you know, for night out. You know, in Britain, some matched. You know what I mean? I have to worry about no guns and that. Anyway, not not to get too political. <laughs> like, but, You're not wrong. You'll be like, yo, mate, you're just gonna get stabbed instead. And to be fair, where we go, and where yes. we go, you probably could get stabbed. But you can also dress like a woman in there as well. It's a parallel, right? Men's wear. Corporation. Oh, what a
We we grew up here. <laughs> <laughs> on the sticky floors. We've been in there on sticky floors. In that smoking area with Sonic. I must have been in there hundreds of times. But yeah. We, I didn't realise that halfway through the night I was also chugging this bottle of cough syrup. Like You threw up in the taxi. In his flat. Well, you just literally had to pull the taxi so over like, throw up. <laughs> I'm like I'm just wearing Tax my chin like, outfit. I've what got, the fuck am I've, I driving? I've got eyes thrown on me. You all looked mad. <laughs> and you're there like, hey, there you are. Oh, Jim, Jim, can I skip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm there with my salamander outfit going, this is going to be the craziest night ever. <laughs> I, I think, didn't I said to the taxi driver, like, pull over? Like, yeah. Pull over. And me, and me, me, me and Jake were just like, you doing? And I got out and I just, I, I don't oh, even remember my, where. I thought we were going to turn around and that was the end of the night. I, I was like, like all over the floor. And uh, I got back in and I think the taxi driver was like, you going to be all right? Yep, yeah, I'm like, yeah, man, it's fine. I'm okay. No, the taxi driver hated us. And like, so the taxi driver picks us up all in these costumes as well. Yeah. He, <laughs> what did he say? Like, you have fun time. <laughs> Bye, have a beautiful time. <laughs> I remember him saying something like that. Bye, see you soon. You know there's like seven or eight different variations of that. Is there? Yeah. Just bye, have a wonderful time. Bye, see you soon. But it was a good night overall. I mean my dick Bye, was, have a great night. My dick my dick was showing like half the time. I'm very self conscious. <laughs> I can see my balls. Mine was shriveled from old cough syrup. That it was cold, it was cold, it was Halloween, it was like Oh, um, well, we, we weren't now. there long because we ended up going home after like a few hours because we we were all a bit tired. Yeah, first night when we went. We did multiple nights. Oh, though. you're on about the. We did multiple you're, are nights. Are you on about the one where I hit Jake with a thing? With a bow and arrow? <laughs> yeah. He just recovered from back surgery. You're just there shooting him at back with an arrow. <laughs> you know, someone hit him in back that night. Does daddy want to fuck my ass? I'm a complete degenerate scumbag. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'm aware of this. You think about legacy? Well, it's preservation. <laughs> What's that? Just from that one word. Legacy? Shake that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's all for you, mate. Mm. LMS. It's, it's actually, I don't even know what the song it's from. But legacy? Like, that album they made so good. Yeah. Well, in college, that's what we did, didn't we? That? Oh, no. We we did a remix of all their songs from Party Rockhampton. Oh, so blended it into some dance somewhere. We made so, a dance so a out bit, of it. Bit of backstory to this this story. It's a project in college. We had to do something in college where Four we did hours. performance to a class of children. Was it children? Told, yes. It wasn't children. No, 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 no. I we trusted. Got, we we <laughs> all trusted. listen. Listen. <laughs> I know this story so well. No, you weren't kids. I remember this story so it well. It wasn't kids. We got told for our no, project. No, you're getting mixed up. We have to make something child friendly. Yeah. We're performing but to it a wasn't for kids. children. Nah. It just went PG. Nah. You can't have swearing or out nah. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> you're getting mixed up. The, you are getting mixed up. The day we were performing, like, about 20 minutes before we're about to perform, it says, oh, uh, they couldn't, they couldn't bring school kids in, so we're actually taking one of the classes from upstairs to come That view. was always the plan. No, it wasn't. That was always we, the plan. We had to make it child friendly, do you remember? Because we did. No, no, we had to make it PG, because we can't have swearing in it well, or anything. Well, PG, whatever, but listen. But it's not for children! I thrusted no, to children! No, like child friendly, because we might be performing to children, that's what they said. No, and no. then on the day they said no, they couldn't come, it, so they've had to bring. They meant to swear it in you general. You don't remember that. I remember that want... so vividly because I remember me, you, and Jonathan talking to each other and saying, like in that small little hallway there, like in between, uh, like the atrium, oh. whatever, and, and the actual I think dance studio. You we know, were that discussing the bit. possibility of children being We said, being there. oh, now that we know that it wasn't it's meant adults, for children. we can do it more like. We can, we yeah, can yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Well, here's the thing, though, we didn't know what our audience was. Exactly. I, I'm sure that's how it happened, though. You're I think the plan, the plan was always to invite a school kid, uh, school class from a different class to come over and watch as, as audience members. But it wasn't meant for children. We didn't design, we wouldn't pick LMFAO, <laughs> a very sexualized <laughs> male dance routine. <laughs> no, it's children. No, that, that's what I mean. We didn't intend it. <laughs> we didn't intend it for that. No, but I was saying it was meant to be PG. We were swearing yeah, in, but in you the imagine if we did that dance? <laughs> And to kids. Like, kids. I'm just there like champagne shower. 
Champagne shower. Yeah, no, we definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. I don't diddle kids! I don't! <laughs> oh, they're here! Take me away!